I'm Lorna and I'm one of the carnival keepers here at Chester Zoo. So we suspected that Charlotte was pregnant, but there was no way to tell for sure. So we installed cameras into the den so that we could check. On the day that she gave birth, we went over there and she didn't come out, which was very unusual. We checked the cameras and she took loads of nest material out, so we suspected that she'd given birth. We popped the food net outdoor enclosure for her, so we didn't go in at all to disturb her. And she didn't come out for two days to eat. We didn't go in there for a good couple of months. And we did hear sounds of pups after a few weeks, so we knew that we had at least one pup. It wasn't until a month after the birth that we saw a pup on the camera and it wasn't until six weeks after the birth that we found out that we actually had three fossa pups. It took them about six weeks to get to their feet. At this point they were coming out of the box. After eight weeks they had been brave enough to come out into the outdoor enclosure with mum. So we caught the fossa pups up at nine weeks old because they were very active and we didn't want to wait any longer. At this time we microchipped them, sexed them, gave them a health check and we weighed them. Each of them weighed about 800 grams. So the family dynamic, we have two pups that are very confident and will spend most of the day off on their own and one pup that hangs out with mum a lot more. But the two that are very playful, they're crazy. They throw themselves around the enclosure from branch to branch and don't seem to care if they're gonna make a landing or not. They don't cause too much mischief for mum because mum doesn't seem to mind that they're breaking half the enclosure. They cause more mischief for us. 